as to Mallory Witt syndrome. Okay, let me start with this. How the patient presents? Patients usually presents with a retching and vomiting of full blood, hematemesis, melina sometimes, lightheadedness, dizziness, syncope, and abdominal pain. A slightly, sometimes they can give, this, sometimes they not. But most important is the vomiting of retching. This is very important. Hematemesis, very, very important. Okay. Uh, remember this point also. Just sometimes they can ask you which of the following could be associated with the Mallory Witt syndrome. The hatal hernia. What you need to remember, hatal hernia is associated with the Mallory Witt syndrome. Okay. How he presents in the ER very important. Physical findings are linked to the underlying disorder causing vomiting and retching. Very important. He vomiting and retching, then it starts bleeding. Okay. So hematemesis. Okay. There are the causes. There are many causes for the Mallory Witt syndrome, but this is not important you need to remember no need to remember for us in the examination forget about this okay now which are the tests you are going to do remember mallory with tear mallory with syndrome okay how he presents to the er vomiting retching and the hematemesis right so when he presents like that think of two one either his hemodynamic is stable or unstable if he is unstable start iv fluids cross matching coagulation profile okay for a transfusion right and uh, keep vasopressin ready usually most of the patients most of the patients with the mallory v syndrome they are stable hemodynamically stable so what do you do what is the treatment if they are stable go ahead with the uh, upper endoscopy to confirm the diagnosis because usually in usml what they will do what how they will confuse you is uh, they will give the history of uh, um, duodenal ulcer. Okay, they give the option of duodenal ulcer or a gastric ulcer or um, reflex esophagitis, right? And uh, esophageal varices. So this is how they confuse you. So if the hemodynamic is stable and there is a history of um, alcoholism, sometimes they give history of alcoholism, sometimes they not. But um, if the patient is stable, then do go ahead with the upper endoscopy okay to confirm the diagnosis initial management look he hemodynamic stable there is a tear nothing to worry go ahead with the supportive treatment that's it okay if if there is a severe bleeding and it is not controllable you can start with a vasopressin okay well, like usml point what you need to remember how he presents to the er hmm? very important because the peptic ulcer they give the history sometimes you get confused with the peptic ulcer patients with uh mallory v syndrome right so this is very important and presentation and treatment steps mallory v is the most if hemodynamic stable support you if not start with iv fluids coagulation profile all blah 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 vasopressin and everything okay uh thank you so much for watching my video please let me know uh, how uh, let me know about this topic uh, please do subscribe comment and rate thank you so much for watching my video